Horatius Bara Elohim, Ace Hashemayim, the Ace Haaretz. At the dawn of creation, God created man, and the Torah relates that God clothed him. Bayas Hashem Elohim leAdam uliishtoi, kosnes oir byalbishem. And the Lord God made for Adam and for his wife shirts of skin, and he dressed them. The Medrash relates in the Sefer Torah of Rabbi Meir. The word or was read with an aleph, meaning shirts of light. This refers to a special set of clothing worn only by the Kohen Gadol, the high priest in the Holy Temple. Adam was given these clothing because he was the firstborn of the world. Thus, the unique holiness of the Bechor was born. 2,248 years later, the Jewish people readied themselves to leave the land of Egypt. After over 200 years of harsh labor, they were being freed from bondage and ready to head to the Holy Land. But the final blow was yet to come. The plague of the firstborn, the Jewish firstborn by contrast, were spared. And it came to pass, when Pharaoh was too stubborn to let us out, the Lord slew every firstborn in the land of Egypt, both the firstborn of man and the firstborn of beast. Therefore, every firstborn of my sons I will redeem. On that day, another layer of holiness came over the firstborn, and a special mitzvah was born. Pidyoin Haben. This is the reason we are gathered here today to witness the redeeming of a firstborn son as his parents purchase him for five silver coins from the hands of the Kohen, God's agent. This mitzvah also falls under a general category of firsts, all of which are consecrated for holiness. Teruma, the first grains of the crop. Bikurim, the first fruits of the trees. Reishis hagez, the first shearing of wool. Chala, the first of the dough. Bechor behema, the firstborn of your animals, Peter Hamor, the firstborn of your donkeys, and finally, Pidyon Haben, the firstborn of your sons. All these mitzvahs serve as a reminder that everything in this world belongs to God. When we consecrate our very first and very best, we are reminded that everything really belongs to our Creator, and that we must purchase it from Him before using it. So now, He's free. His life is wide open. The potential is enormous. The world is his for the taking. He can choose where he wants to go, who he wants to see, what he'd like to be, and how he'd like to do it. But why have we worked so hard to buy back his potential? What is the role of a newly redeemed Jewish boy in this world? Let us fast forward to the month of Tishrei, 1981. The Lubavitcher Rebbe, ever caring for every Jew, no matter their background or age, sensed a growing issue among American youth. In the Rebbe's words, American children are being brought up on the spirit of independence and freedom, and on the glorification of personal prowess and smartness. It has cultivated a sense of cockiness and self-assurance, to the extent that one who is bent on mischief or antisocial activity feels that one can outsmart a cop on the beat and even a judge on the bench, and in any event, there is little to fear in the way of punishment. In other words, Jewish children were missing a sense of purpose and obedience to a higher calling. That year, the Rebbe founded a movement he called Tzivos Hashem, God's Army. <laughs> soldier
Today, Tzibbe Sashem functions as a worldwide movement with over one million soldiers receiving their orders from the Commander-in-Chief, God, via the Torah, instilling within them a sense of purpose and awareness of their role in this world. Today, we welcome the newest enlistee in Hashem's army. From the moment he was born, Menachem will be trained as a soldier, committing his life to one of Torah and mitzvahs. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad He will be trained to follow the orders of the Commander-in-Chief, one mitzvah at a time, until we ultimately bring about the ultimate redemption of Hashem's firstborn, the Jewish people, with the coming of Mashiach speedily in our days.